My name is Abdullah. I was born in Mardan. I established the company called Abdullah Khan Architects, which was um, established in 2011, following the ideals of a solid structured office with an efficient follow-through in execution, nurturing clients that would be long-term and bringing to the market solid structures of running the office. Now this brings with it a lot of education from your interns to your office boys to your colleagues to your uh, builders to your vendors but we're up for it. I went to college in Peshawar, Edwards College. Upon graduation I went to NCA, spent about five years there, became an architect, started practicing in Lahore for a couple of years, then went to work with Habib Fidali in Karachi, after which my good friend Ali invited me to work in a company he was working with in Dubai. And that changed my life. I worked there for about three and a half years, then I decided to uh, come back and set up my own practice. I used to admire colonial buildings when I was growing up. I could not identify um, that this would eventually um, convert into a professional choice. Uh, that was my only um, interaction with architecture and how I got into architecture was a different thing altogether. I saw my brothers struggling after their master's degree and I thought to myself I need to have good education in order to uh, earn money. And that was my only motivation. It was my desire to come back and start serving our starved community, whether it was starved of choices, opportunities, services, I wanted to do my bit. I um, was doing very well for myself. I was living a wonderful life, but I was feeling very minute in a large universe. I needed to make sense. I needed to add something. I told myself it would give me great satisfaction if, if I could in my own way contribute. We're uh, trying to make ends meet. There are classes of society that really look at us as solutions to their answers and that makes it very hard for us to, to to, to provide a solution to their question and simultaneously run a philosophy at the same time. The Embassy of the Philippines it was the first project undertaken by our company. Um, this was a design competition which we won back in 2011. By the end of 2015, we were very happy, very proud of the fact that we could now showcase this project to you. So the project comprises of the Chancery building, the Ambassador's residence, a recreational building and staff quarters. All of these are designed around a central courtyard. The Philippines has a varied history in architecture and so to have a stable precedent in architecture was confusing so we started to follow nature and in nature it had the wonderful rice terraces which are also referred to as the eighth wonder of the world. The Chancery building is a direct reflection of the landscape of the rice terraces. Um, the rest of the buildings really follow the Chancery and we gave it an internal courtyard. The next project we are going to talk about is the Elite Club in Gujarat. The project currently is under construction. We've divided it into three stages since it is more than 150,000 square feet of squatter settlements. The project entails a four-star hotel, 
swimming pool, three restaurants, a mini mall and a marquee. So as you can appreciate, citizens of Gujarat need not travel to, to, to the big cities to fulfill the requirements of their daily life or special events. Uh, the challenge here was views really. A hotel needs to have views. What we did was we cascaded the building so that it looked into its own little piece of scenery that was designed in the center of the site. The third project we are going to be talking about today is a residence in Charsada. This particular residence, we tried to create something modern but based in the past. The result was a regional resident residence made in regional materials. In this particular project, we gave the client a modern residence in a village where now he can spend his quality family time as well. It has modern amenities. The architecture is regional, so it blends in in the cultural identity and the amenities provide the everyday requirements of a modern family house. We architects are of an inquisitive nature and if we start tracing our roots in architecture, um, we, we come across a lot of influences. It is very hard to tell apart the influence from the original source of art. Always be curious, always remain students of architecture. Never get bogged down by limitations. You are above that. 